a former personal chef to Queen Elizabeth II has revealed the strange way the monarch eats her fruit, and it is bizarre. According to chef Darren McGrady, the Queen wants to maintain dignity whenever she's chomping down on a banana, requesting a knife and fork to eat the fruit so as to avoid looking like a monkey. Mr. McGrady explained, holding the fork, cut off one end of the banana, then cut off the other end. Then you turn the knife on its side and cut into the skin to prise the banana open. Once this is done, you cut a little bit off and eat it. Mr. McGrady, who cooked for the royal family from 1982 to 1993, also revealed that while the Queen follows very strict rules surrounding her eating choices, Her Majesty is no foodie. In contrast, the chef says that Prince Philip loves to eat and could stand and talk food all day. While her food choices are picky, the Queen is just as fussy about her after-meal cleanup, especially when it comes to her grandchildren helping out. The Queen has always played a hands-on role with Peter Phillips, 41, Tsar Tyndall, 38, Prince William, 37, Prince Harry, 35, Princess Beatrice, 31, Princess Eugenie, 29, Lady Louise Windsor, 15, and James, Viscount 7, 11, who have all brought her endless happiness, along with the usual family dramas, which have often been compounded by royal expectations. According to a 2016, the Queen's cousin, Lady Elizabeth Hansen, revealed that aside from her dismay that many of her grandchildren seem to lack the art of conversation, she also confessed they had begun to help out the palace staff. I suppose it's because they're always getting up and down and helping somebody and putting something in a dishwasher or whatever they're doing, she told the publication. They don't have enough staff. The monarch refuses to pick up the tropical fruit and peel back the skin before tucking in like the rest of us and instead insists on using cutlery every time. This is because the 93-year-old is keen to avoid looking like a monkey, according to chef Darren McGrady, who cooked for the Queen and the royal family from 1982 to 1993. He explained, holding the fork, cut off one end of the banana, then cut off the other end. Then you turn the knife on its side and cut into the skin to prise the banana open. Once this is done, you cut a little bit off and eat it. Mr. McGrady has said that while the Queen has very specific rules on how she consumes her food, is and not in fact a foodie. He said she eats to live rather than lives to eat and her passion for food differs greatly from that of her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. The chef and author who is now based in Dallas, Texas, said Prince Philip loves to eat and would stand and talk food all day if he had the chance. While the Queen is known to indulge in lavish five-course feasts for state banquets and special dinners, on nights when she is not entertaining any guests she sticks to healthy options. She will request either grilled or poached fish with vegetables or salad on the side. Her Majesty also chooses not to have potatoes or any other form of starch on her plate and is disciplined when it comes to what she puts into her body. One of her rules means garlic is banned from all dishes at banquets to save her guests from ending their night with stinky breath. And the keen horsewoman would rather fork out big money to feed her equine interest that upgrade the ancient utensils in the palace kitchens, Mr. McGrady revealed. He said staff have to cook meals pots dating back to the 1800s which bear the stamp of Queen Victoria, the Queen's great-great-grandmother. During his 11-year stint working for the royals Mr. McGrady said whenever he would approach the, the family to see if they wanted to buy new cooking equipment he would be told, no, 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 we need the money to buy horses and saddles. The Queen is very strict when it comes to eating fruits and vegetables which are in season and has a preference for eating foods either grown or hunted on her estates. Homegrown vegetables and pheasant from Buckingham, Windsor or Balmoral are a favorite of hers. But it is Prince Charles who leads the way in the family when it comes to organically grown produce. The Prince of Wales was organic before organic was even invented, said Mr. McGrady.